Hi, my name is Charles and I'm one of the maths teachers from the Maxim Workshop. I'm just going to now teach you how to do some math. Hi, in this video I'm going to show you how to calculate variance, which is um, a quantity that is measured throughout statistics. Um, when you, whenever you have a probability distribution, variance is something that shows you a measure of how far um, your variables that are associated to that distribution are um, away from your expected value and your expected value is mainly your mean value, your average. Okay, so variance is denoted by var x. So variance and the distribution um, involves quantities relating to x, so that's your variable. Now, um, the the basic equation that you might use to calculate variance is this one here. You've got your mean value subtracting your x values. So those would be your measurements of height, weight, um, mainly any variable that you're um, studying. And then you square this. And the last term within this equation is your value of n. Now that's how many um, quantities you have relating to x. So, um, just a brief um, example of what you might find is, say, if you wanted to calculate the variance in various heights of human beings, let's say you have um, a measurement, so x is your distribution, and you have quantities relating to height as 7, 8, 8, 9, 7, 6. Now just imagine if these were your measurements for heights of say children in a particular classroom. Now the next thing you would want to do is sum these so you can obtain the expected value okay which is your mu. Now this is 15, this 8 plus um, 15 is 23, so you've got that, and 23. Now 9 plus um, 23 is going to be 32, so we've got that. Let me just shift this over here. And 32 plus 7 now is going to be 39. And 39 plus 6 is going to be 45. So if you look at this, in our distribution we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 values. So we're trying to divide 45 by 6. Now in order to do that, Six doesn't enter forty into four, so we put a zero there. Cross that up. Now we just le left the trivial case of six into forty-five. So in our six times table, we got to seven times six, which is forty-two, and we go there. We've got a remainder of um, three, so we put the three there. Now we want to see how many times 6 enters 30. So 6 times 6 is 36. So obviously we drop down to 6 times 5. So and we put the decimal point up here. And that is sufficient enough to um, take um, as our value for mu. So 7.5. Now, what we want to do is stick this value inside here and actually calculate um, this difference here that we've got um, with the squared value. 788976 and our mu value, which is our expected value, is basically 7.5. Now, 
<coughs> what we're going to have to do now is stick these um, expected, sorry, um, distribution values for X, which is the height of kids, and our expected value, which is 7.5, into the equation and to see what we get. Okay, so what, what we're going to do now is stick these values into our equation with our expected value. Now what we should have is a summation here of all our um, expected values, expected value subtracting um, the height values um, squared. So we've got 7.5, take away 7, that's just 0.5 squared. And we've got um, 7.5 take away um, 8, which is negative 0.5 squared, which would just be the same thing as this. And again, we've got the same thing here. So plus negative 0.5 squared. And we'll come down here. Now we've got 7.5 take away 9, which would just be 1.5 squared. So minus 1.5 squared. And we've got 7.5 take away 7, which would again just be 0.5 squared. Just put these in the bracket. Um, And we also have 7.5 take away 6, which would be 1.5 squared. Okay, so all of these, once added up, will give us our um, variance, um, and obviously divided by n. So we've got um, a half squared, so that's just a half times a half, which is a quarter. So that's 0 0.25 plus Again, 0 0.25. We've got again 0 0.25. Now, if you think about 1.5, you can say to yourself, 15 squared would be 225. So that's just pretty much just going to be um, 2.25. Okay. And again, you've got 0 0.25. And again, you've got 0, 2.25. Now, I can sum quickly um, this with this to make 4.5. And I can sum these four. Obviously, this together will make 0.5. This together will make 0.5. So that's just going to be one. So we've just basically got 1.5, which is 5.5. And if you look at how many values we have, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So pretty much our value here, we've still got to divide by how many we have. So we've got 5.5 divided by six. Now, if you wanna change this, you can say to yourself that you have, five and a half divided by six. So the fraction will look like 5 6 and you've got also um, 1 divided by 2 divided by 6 is actually add 1 divided by 12. Okay, so now all you have to do is multiply top and bottom here by 2 because you can't break this down. And you have 12 on the bottom there and you have 10 on the top. And then when you just want to add these fractions, you just take the denominator, 12, and then you add the tops, 
which is 11. So your answer, pretty much, for your variance is just 11 twelfths. And that's how to calculate variance.